long video. Like, <laughs> uh, I kind of like running out of my sense. Hi! Hi, Najee Hal. Alright, so uh, why don't you introduce yourself and what do you do? Okay, so hi, my name is Najee Hal, so usually people just call me G. So I'm basically a social media content creator, also working full time at an IT company, also running an e commerce platform at the same time, and also my own business. I'm 25 years old, so I do a lot of things at once. I guess it's because I just love working. They, they always say that like, you start young to hustle. Yes, you have to start early. Because like. you want to retire early, then why? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. So basically, I started when I was in law school. I don't really see my future as a lawyer. So I thought, like, you know what, let's just start a business in something that I actually like to do. So I started as a personal shopper. So what I did was I uh, import stuff from let's say UK and US, brought it in Malaysia, sell it to the people here and it gained quite a, a response. It has been like what two years or something. It's still running but not really as much because I pick up a full-time job and an IT company. I went to Korea and received a lot of demands from my friends because they were like can you bring back this brand now because it's not available in Malaysia? So I was like, okay, lah, I try to bring back. So I bring back and uh, then I charge lah, a certain you know, service fee, things like that. And then I realized, oh, this can be kind of a business also. So I bought stuff from UK, US at the same time, and I gained like 50,000 subscribers within just like a few months, things like that. And a lot of people actually buying. So in Korea, I go directly. Lah. Okay, you see what are things that I actually have demands in Malaysia. Second is that you do your own research on Google lah, see whether this thing has been available in Malaysia or not, right? The hardest part is finding a good supplier. So you don't know them over there. So you actually have to kind of like do business based on trust lah. So, but mostly I've never actually encountered any fraud or things like that. So things are okay. Uh, you find supplier online. I think it's best that you go over there, see how the business over there before you proceed. Meeting people on the internet is a bit scum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is actually. Why did you settle for cosmetics? Cosmetics have a lot of uh, range and they have a lot of demands. Every single woman in this world wants to be beautiful it's because it helps with their confidence. How do you determine which ones are better serve your customers? First, you have to know your target audience. Uh. You have to do a market research. You cannot just simply, you know what, I'm going to bring this over. You have to think of the import details, consequences of things getting lost. Analyze our competitions. Have this one um, uniqueness. Use that and make it like a big thing. Tell us a bit more about Celeb Chef. Uh, from what I noticed from the profile, you are actually the uh, founder for this. I'm actually the product owner for the founder. Mm. So basically, Celeb Chef is a digital marketplace powered by influencer marketing. So we provide a platform for SMEs uh, to put their products, and these products are sold by the influencers. So this investor actually got a certain kind of commission. So maybe soon we also be launching an affiliate program uh, under Celeb Share where normal people will uh, be part of this. Uh, so you can help also Sally get a certain kind of commission so that can be your passive income also. How do you come up with this concept for uh, Celeb Share? I found that because I realize that I like to share things that I wear and you know and sometimes I work for brands also but you see uh, some brands would really appreciate content creators they pay peanuts okay. so I realized that hey, what if I can help to sell 1000 of your product but you're paying me like what 50 bucks okay. I, I feel like I deserve more than that so I started this um, platform now where you can help to sell a brand so you get to up to like 5 to 10 percent of every unit you sell that's interesting because uh I used to work in PR and mm -hmm. I know that like uh, for influencers, um, some certain companies like to skip out on uh, Exactly, yes. like to skip out and then like, take advantage, right? Yeah. Um, giving you free products as a chance of a review. My current project is still Serve Chef because uh, we have a lot of things to develop, like the affiliate program, which is there, and then we would like to maybe collaborate with uh, brands outside of Malaysia to bring it in and also to be uh, promoted with our using our local content creators or maybe influencers and also at the same time we would like to venture out so that uh, you know we can kind of like give out this kind of system, sell this kind of system to other countries maybe they can use it as well. Do you have other programs that you can use to help uh, people like you need or something like that? We also work with sometimes like NGOs where they need us to do a shout out uh, for their let's say campaign uh, a free food campaign but also they need like donors and all kind. 
So we'll use our influencers um, to help gain this kind of impression and also help them to raise the funds. What are like the future plans for your uh, company in terms of short term and long term? Short term is of course to launch everything smoothly. We don't want any bugs and things like that. Long term is to expand, but the thing is that to expand is quite hassle as well. All the documentations and things like that. But thank God we actually opened up a US company already. Yeah, so we can you know uh, do at a arbitrage rate. We actually opened the US company so to make it uh, easier for us to do a bit of a trading, export and import and stuff. My personal goals. So my personal goals in 10 years is to pick up at least um, two masters, of course, to expand uh, my business and also to pick up another business and expand it. <laughs>